YouTube. So today we're going to take uh, another look at uh, printing. Uh, we'll do the shop drawings this time. And shop drawings is basically uh, the main part with uh, the connection. Uh, so let's say for example this column has a base plate so you have the column the base plate and the side view of the of the whole thing so and each one of them has its own drawing that's the shop drawings pretty much the fabrication drawings I think some of them call it okay so uh, first things first uh, from the last video we did our numbering already and everything is numbered i showed you last time how to extract the uh, camera views the, uh, the camera uh, drawings now this time we're just going to do it for the whole thing so we go quick documents and on processes now bear in mind there's many ways many different styles so it's up to what you want really uh, so uh, if you go on uh, any of these and it shows a preview of what you are going to expect so like this that 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 I'm just going through them so you can see the previews and for me what suits me best is uh, if you go on main parts and uh, all so this stands for all main parts each and that's on B size paper or C if you want and if you need a little more detail about the drawing you can read down here it says shop drawings of all main parts one drawing per sheet okay and that's typically what you want when you're doing uh, uh, shop drawings and there's also this general uh, which produces very very similar results if not the same and if anyone can differentiate uh, between that one there and that one there for me that would be great but uh, it comes out the same uh, anyway so we click uh, we want that one and so we have the main part and the uh, connected parts and one for each sheet so we're gonna use that and this looks good here so we're gonna click OK and you should try different styles there because uh, it, everyone has got their own liking their own style you know so try them out I can't tell you which one to use I can only show you where to find them okay so we go on documents uh, details and these are the drawings that were created so we we'll just open all of them and you know one by one go through them and see what we have made here uh, let them just all open up okay so this is our structure uh, remember we have the railing there and the truss there and our purlins our columns base plates so now we'll go through each one of them so first things first this looks like the truss section so you can see the side view and all the sections in here nicely detailed with all the welding symbols there and you have uh, your information down there and it also gives you the quantity the mark I guess we didn't give that one uh, a specific one but yeah and then we've got some more information there and that one looks pretty neat remember you can scale all these and move them too so to move it you just select one part because it's gonna move the whole assembly it moves everything together so we're just gonna move that so you can see what I'm talking about so I'll move it from there to there so you see everything moves with it and uh, to scale it you click on the part and right click and go advanced detail properties 
and you can scale it there and there's things you can change there you can actually change it to suit your needs in there too so that's the trust uh the joist driver i keep calling the trust and this is uh the railing you can see you have all the welding symbols there again everything and the table comes up here i didn't uh specifically name them but it automatically gives names if you for assemblies and things like that uh, we move on to this is uh the purlin so for this one we just have the side view and the front so and that was p1 okay and there's two of them that's the number how many there are and you can change what else you want to write here or what to exclude or include again in the advanced properties you've got your table there p1 quantity whatever and let's move on real quick here to this is the column i believe that's the base plate yeah that's the base plate and again you can scale this up yeah see remember when we named it c this is the mark number here so whatever we named is gonna be here so as you can see i didn't name this one but it automatically gave p1000 and the reason we name them is so that we have everything uniform. I should have had this one P1, you know, just to make it look good. But you can see there's four columns there, and W, the this, the type of column, and there's the plates attached to the columns. That's the base plates. You can see it in this view. You've got your welding symbols, whatnot. And it actually does a really good job setting it up for you and uh we've also got our beams on that side uh, so we've got our, our side view there and that one and uh, we've got our top view there and this is the b remember i named it b b1 quantity two whatnot the sizes and you can see that from here if you need to you know change a few things around it like 80 percent of the work if not 90 percent of the work is done for you and all you have to do is you know insert your stuff in there and you know submit your drawings to wherever they're going okay so now that's uh uh creating the document using that uh, uh which one did we use this one all main parts and then again if you just want each single part separately you want to go single parts here and you can see they'll be on each sheet of paper singles so and if you go through these make sure you read down here uh, depending on what you want you can achieve almost anything and if you don't it can easily be manipulated to get what you want to get in terms of drawings so we'll come back to this uh if you're not clear on anything uh but uh ask me questions whatnot i'll answer what i can and we're going to in our next video we're going to move on to creating lists i'm not very i don't use the lists a lot but uh it's good to know uh you know and uh what else was there anything i missed um, okay yeah in my next video i'll make it really short i'll talk about uh, uh some of the other things you can do with uh document creation